In this project session, we'll be discussing about the sheet metal project, how you can create an expected time for this 45 minutes when you start. So all the details are given here. The spec for the lovers are given in the coming pages and different formed and lower length which we'll be using is 18 mm and depth 4 mm and height 4.2. This also are given and after creating this you save this is project1.prt and this is the final output which we are expecting and this is the flat pattern of the sheet metal which we are expecting. So initially all the dimensions which are detailed are shown here and the side cutout details also are given here with the positioning and the width and initially we have to start from this typical sketches and then you will be creating this base on a test wall and after that you will be moving to the edges where you will be creating the flange walls like the one is shown here at this particular edge and here with the specified length 40 and after that you will be selecting this particular edge and you will be positioning this center flange the centered flange and then you will be selecting this particular edge and you will be positioning this particular flange as shown here and after that you will be updating with respect to this edge this particular flange and then with respect to the bottom side here you will be updating this flange with 20 length and here this length will be 40 from this particular edge which is shown here and then you will be putting the lovers over this face and then you will be making patterns out of this in this direction and these numbers you have to maintain and after that you have to create the holes which is shown here in this position through cutout and then your part will be ready and you can create the flattened shape and then we will move to the project 2. So I will directly show how to create inside the project environment of NX 8.5. We will open the stored one which we have to create from scratch. This is the final part which we are looking for and directly if you see your tab wall and if you make this as a current feature rest of all will disappear. This is the first feature which we will be creating through this tab wall and these are the dimensional details which you have to maintain and you have to make fully constant this cage and all the dimensions are here given there is the 32 and here the overall length is 96 which is given here and this is 26 from this particular edge and this width 19 is given here and this width 8 is also given here and also this width is 27 given this is 20 and this height will be 44 by using all the sketch dimension when you finish with the set thickness of 1 you will be getting the first on a test wall then when we will move to the flange wall we will be attaching here with your details 40 and this will be throughout the full length next we will move to the second feature which you will be attaching to this corner this is also same 40 you can see and this is also full this information you have to add here next we will move to this particular feature which we will be putting at the center and once you define at the center here we have to define as length 15 which we will be defining and also the width is 15 and what about the reliefs which you will be putting is square one by one this is the relief which you are defining here and then you will be moving to the next feature next feature will be updating here the details are shown here the 20 the length and full over the length next we'll moving to next feature which you can see will be attaching to this side and here the details are 
the 40 as the length and this is attached to the full length and this will be attaching here. Next we'll move to the next feature which will be attaching to this bottom and here also you have the full length flange wall the length will be 20. After that we'll define the lower over this particular face with the dimension shown here. The lower which will be defining will be from the corner at 12.5 because this cage which will be defining will be the deciding factor. This we have to define at 12.5 the straight line and from this edge 2.5 and total length is 18. So once you define this particular sketch under lower which I have explained in my session you will be creating this and 2.5 will be the depth here in this particular direction and 4 will be the width and this is the form shape. And after that we will be using the linear pattern for creating this and the pattern numbers and details you can find and that you have to use inside the project for updating. So whatever the numbers you want to use that you can use directly. So some dependent features if you have that you will find difficulty in. Just will make this current. And here if you go to the edit definition here you can find the total counts are 12 and the span distance is 73. The total span distance which you have is 73 from the starting till end and you have selected here the count and span option and linear is the option and the direction vector is this. So this particular options directly you can get from insert associated copy and pattern feature. Then we'll be going to our whole features for positioning here and this whole details will be shown here whatever the dimensions you have to define for this hole is 4 as the diameter and multiple holes you can position through sketch and the distance between the center is 18 and from this edge is 13.5 and from this ground the distance is given here as 8. So once you position the details or the position of the hole the diameter 4 once you define the holes are placed as per your required position and after that you can move to the next hole and you can make this current at this position and like that you can define the holes in the corresponding positions as per requirement then we will be going to the drawn cutout here and for that you have to define the cross section and then a depth of 4 and the clearance parameter you will have to define here based on your requirement. But here is very important to define the sketch. This is 15 by 15 which you have to define and then the drawn cutout will be updated in this particular location and after that you will be creating the flat patterns for this with respect to different sides you can create the flat pattern by referring. If you double click this you can see this is the reference and next you can have from different views the flat patterns which you can have. Let us say the second pattern which you are creating you have to refer this face with respect to this the these details will be updated and with respect to the this particular top feature by locating this as the reference this edge and these details will be updated. But in the first pattern you have selected only the flat reference and the edge you have taken by default is this because here you don't have any uh, deformed shape which you need to create. So in our coming session we will be discussing about project 